in our healing work, once we've done our initial uh, muscle memory or pre-healing work, uh, we're ready to start to move forward to actually formally teaching healing. And the first steps of those, uh, the first step of the formal healing process is for us to teach static focus, or basically stationary focus, where we bring the dog alongside of our body and we teach them to look at a certain point on our body, wherever we've decided our focal point will be. And we put that on a cue. So we teach our dog to stand next to us, ideally, uh, and focus on our face, our eyes, the side of our head, our shoulder, whatever we've decided there. And we put that focus on cue. Once we've established that, we're going to have to transition into what we call moving focus, where we get the dog to actually move and look at the focal point. And then as we move forward through that work, we're going to have to build duration or sustained focus as we go forward. We generally don't work extensively on sustained focus and moving focus until after we've done our leash pressure work. But you can do some little drills with younger dogs to teach them to focus and move and focus along the wall. And you'll see several handlers here working with younger puppies, and they're at the transition stage between luring completely our pre-healing muscle memory work and our transition to sustained moving focus. Like, because uh, uh, what will happen is, um, uh, once we've got the dog uh, luring, uh, we've got the dog looking at us from a sit and a stand beside us, then we'll start to do what Lindsay was doing yesterday with Basa, which is basically trying to get some steps and pull their hand back and have the dog keep their head up and reward that. And then once the we get a little bit of that, we usually do leash pressure work, and then the most of the rest of the healing going forward from that is done after you have the leash pressure installed because we need to have the leash pressure to control position. Because once I start walking very much, the dog's gonna naturally drift out of position. And now I have the leash in place to say, no, I'm gonna be back here a little bit and to refine that position. So I don't, we do enough moving so that we don't get stuck sitting still. And we do it off our hand so we don't get stuck on our hand. But we don't really move forward in that process uh, extensively until after we've got our leash pressure work so we can control position.